Beagles are hunting dogs, but the Maltese is a toy breed. This means that your Maltegal will have an adventurous personality but will be more inclined to cuddle and play than to hunt around outdoors. A Maltegal is a cross between a Beagle and a Maltese. The result is a sweet, playful, and adventurous dog that makes a truly delightful companion. Maltegal owners love how cheerful and cuddly their pets are, and nearly everyone can agree that these dogs are better for their long, fluffy, and hypoallergenic coats. Although Maltegals are hard to find, there are plenty of Maltese breeders who will be willing to help you acquire one of these designer pets. If you're looking for a fun and friendly hybrid dog with a great personality, the Maltegle is an excellent choice. Maltegles are small dogs with fluffy coats of white hair. This designer dog breed's beagle blood makes them slightly larger than their Maltese parents, but they are still small enough to be considered a toy breed. In general, you can expect a full-grown Maltegal to weigh between 13 and 25 pounds and to stand between and 15 inches tall. Male Maltegals are usually larger than their female counterparts, although the difference is often quite minimal. Like most designer dog breeds, Maltegals are incredibly healthy and have reliably long lifespans. These pups are too small to experience the joint dysplasia that often plagues purebred dogs. Instead, they are likely to experience issues related to blood flow and the short distance between their heart and any relevant injuries. A Maltegal may also experience retinal issues and occasional skin allergies. In general, ask your vet to check for Heart concerns eye conditions hydrocephalus skin allergies Maltegals are sweet and friendly dogs with loving and affectionate personalities. In general, you can expect a Maltegal to exhibit incredibly playful and cuddly personality traits, especially when they have recently had a nap. Like their beagle parents, these dogs are also incredibly adventurous and love to explore both indoor and outdoor environments. Many Maltegal owners love to take their pets on long walks and enjoy seeing their dog happily prance through the dog park. Although Maltegals have even temperaments, these dogs are as capable of getting irritated as any other canine. Most Maltegals expect to get a reasonable amount of rest and will become snappy if they are allowed to get too tired. Luckily, the solution is as simple as providing plenty of soft places and allowing your Maltegal to rest between social interactions. A Maltegal's ideal day involves good meals, several rounds of playtime, and plenty of cuddling with their primary owner. Maltegals are sweet dogs that don't need much to stay happy. As long as you feed them at regular intervals, play with them throughout the day and provide a safe environment for them to explore. Your Maltegal will make their own fun while you're taking care of your human responsibilities. Don't forget to brush your dog regularly, and keep an eye on them to make sure they don't get lost in large or crowded environments. Even full-grown Maltegals are small dogs that don't need to eat a lot of food to stay healthy. However, because they are descended from beagles, these dogs are very food-oriented and love to explore new tastes and smells. Start by buying a high-quality kibble and feeding small portions are recommended by your veterinarian. Alternatively, you can cook homemade dog food with lean meats and vegetables. You may also want to feed your dog small treats throughout the day, especially during training sessions. If your Maltegal is gaining weight or exhibiting destructive behavior, they may be consuming too many calories. These dogs have long coats of hypoallergenic fur. Although they won't shed, these dogs need to be brushed regularly to keep their fur from matting. For best results, make brushing a daily activity. Look for a long-toothed brush or comb that doesn't snag or take the hair with it. You should also bathe your dog at least once a month. Remember to trim their nails, brush their teeth, and inspect their ears for any signs of infection. Maltegals are sweet and obedient dogs, 
but they tend to have low attention spans. Don't expect your dog to learn anything more than basic and essential commands. Start training soon after you bring your new puppy home. Keep sessions short. In the beginning, you may want to hold several 15-minute training sessions throughout the day to help reinforce important commands. As your dog gets older, hold at least three training sessions a week to make sure they don't forget anything that they have learned. These dogs are playful dogs that love to exercise. Start by providing your dog with plenty of space to run around the house. These dogs don't necessarily need a yard, but they love having access to one. If you can't let your dog outside and off leash, make sure to take them on at least one 60-minute long walk every day. If your dog does have access to a yard, they may only need a short walk in the morning or evening. Puppies are excitable and adventurous. Because they are so small, they need to be watched closely to make sure that they do not get lost or hurt during their explorations. Expect puppies to eat more than their adult counterparts, and remember to buy a high-nutrition dog food intended for their age group. These dogs are playful and small, making them a great choice as companions for children. Remember not to give a Maltegal or any other dog to a child who is too small to understand canine boundaries. Because of their small size, these dogs need to be watched closely to make sure that they do not get hurt. Encourage your children to play gently, and rescue your dog from the situation if they start to get tired. These dogs are popular for their playful attitudes and hypoallergenic coats. If you're looking for something similar, try looking for another hybrid that includes either a Maltese or a toy poodle. Many designer breeders offer several different crossbreeds from the same selection of genetic lines.